Black Adam is the newest DC Is This Even a Connected Universe movie. How was it? Well, it's weird. I can somehow see how this could be someone's absolute favorite movie, but I also think it's just a terrible movie. <laughs> Black Adam is just so crazy and inconsistent with its story and creative choices that it's at the very least ironically entertaining to watch. Like if you love 80s action movies filled with one-liners, I mean, th this movie is one-liner central, I can tell you that. It also just has so many cliches in it, where it feels like in the first 20 minutes you've already gone through every cliche. Like, oh, oh, who's this guy? Oh, that's her son? Oh, who, who are we supposed to trust? Oh, he betrayed them? Wait, they, they were a bad guy all along? The story is just also very predictable. And my god, the story. This film shoves poorly told exposition down your throat at the very beginning, where you can just barely keep up. And the thing is, when you think it's over, we then get more exposition and are introduced to like 50 characters. Like, I felt like I had no idea what was happening. I definitely had no connection to the characters that were introduced. This movie really only starts when Black Adam first appears, and then there's this admittedly pretty gnarly action scene. Anyways, before I talk about why this is just not a good movie, let me explain some of the things that I do think makes it at the very least entertaining to watch. First, like I said, the action is pretty good. I think Black Adam's attitude towards violence helps make it so brutal. Like, there's some really cool kills in this movie for sure. Some of the other superpowered people like Dr. Fate and Hawkman also have pretty good action scenes, but I think overall the action kind of falls off in the second half of the movie. Still, I'd say it's pretty good. Next is a weird one. Again, like the movie itself, this movie has some pretty unique visuals and shots that are genuinely unique and inspired. Like, I know this shot is being made fun of a lot, but I fucking love this shot. One, yes, because it is highly memeable. But two, it's just a very fun and eye-catching shot. The problem is with other visuals that are cool at first, like slow-mo, until they're used every single time Cyclone uses her powers, plus like 50 other times. Couple this with constant licensed music bits, and it just gets very repetitive and annoying. Also, the actual color in this movie is actually really good whenever the movie isn't in Kondok, the main location of the movie. Yeah, there's this weird yellow piss filter every time we're there, and every time we aren't there, the movie just looks significantly better. Lastly, the CGI. Again, it's pretty good in most parts, but then it has some atrocious CGI, like with the main villain and Adam Smasher's Deadpool mask. Wow, okay, so that was supposed to be the positives, but it kind of turned into the negatives pretty fast. Uh, I guess The Rock was also good? I don't know, I mean, I was impressed he didn't just play another version of himself again at least. Hawkman and the JSA were actually pretty cool, uh, although I feel like Cyclone didn't really get to do anything, like she traps Black Adam at one point, but not actually, and I feel like that's all she does. Noah Centineo was fine, I kind of liked how much of a newbie he was, Doctor Fate was pretty cool, and before anyone says that he's a straight up copy of Doctor Strange, that's just how these superhero comics and movies work. No matter what character, there's always pretty much someone extremely similar with the competition. The important thing is that the performances and characters themselves are different. Oh come on! Well there is Hawkman who I thought was great in this with his strong sense of justice and how angry and cocky he was. Uh, who are the other characters in this? Oh yeah, the, the main villain's uh, lore was cool, but the character was ass. The main family kind of sucked, the kids acting was very, very bad, uh, very bad. And why is he skateboarding everywhere? Why does he need to skateboard everywhere? I feel like they just wanted a kid who could skateboard. The uncle was at least funny in a few parts. Uh, the evil organization was incredibly vague and not memorable at all. Man, I know it sounds like I absolutely hated this movie, but I mean, it had a pretty fast pace, lots of decent action sequences, and at least some good jokes. Plus, I mean, the cheesiness of it all is pretty entertaining. But overall, this is not a good film. I liked where it leaves the DCEU off, though. I still feel like it's pretty disconnected and extremely confusing with how many already established characters there apparently are now. But I'm sure in three to four movies, it's gonna feel much better. Shazam 2 doesn't look very good, but I also thought the first movie didn't look good and it turned out alright. 
so we'll see. Also with the recent news of James Gunn heading up DC with another guy, I'm cautiously optimistic about what's to come. Black Adam though, I'd put this movie around Thor Love and Thunder funnily enough. It could be higher or lower depending on the day, I think I'll put it above for now. Also the random Henry Wrinkler cameo in this is easily the best thing about the movie. Now go watch something.